welcome, my name is Kyle for the win, and welcome to another gauntlet guide here on the map Ancient Evil. In this video, we are going to, I'm going to show you guys how to build the wind gauntlet here on the map, of course. And this gauntlet is arguably the best out of all of the gauntlets. It's really, really good, especially when you upgrade it. I'm also going to tell you guys how to upgrade it. And yeah, so jumping into this, the, this, the shrine for this is actually in the dark side of the map uh, there's actually two for each so uh, this is the second shrine in the dark part of the map and it is right right by pack a punch so what you do just like usual you press square on the uh, shrine to get the uh, you know the kind of lockdown sequence started and you have to kill all of these zombies that have blue surrounding them uh, again this is a 45 second lockdown sequence uh, again just be careful have a shield have your your weapon uh, it shouldn't be too hard especially because most of the time you'll be down here probably by around three or four or five so if you get really lucky and you find a gauntlet hand there already really easy to get this gauntlet at a very early round but now that we have the gauntlet let's go ahead and upgrade it so to in order for us to upgrade the gauntlet here's the gauntlet in action with its base attack basically it just float shoots the zombies back and kind of sends them flying which is really hilarious but uh, the upgrade for this is a little bit difficult but also not that difficult as well uh, but in order to upgrade it what we're going to do is we're going to look for three arrows around the map the first arrow is actually here and I actually mess up on this one uh, but there is three arrows on the map the big arrow right there you have to shoot a zombie at it and it will launch a feather in the air so what you want to do is you want to shoot the feather until it no longer reacts and that's what it basically just keeps trying to shoot it until it it doesn't move and goes into the shrine it's a little bit difficult uh, but make sure you conserve your ammo at this point because it can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, the next arrow is right here on the cliff ruins. It's really, really easy to see. All you have to do is just launch one zombie into it and you can easily, easily get this done. So I launch this zombie into that and the feather starts moving and it's very easy to see. You just have to shoot it with the gauntlet. I think I shoot it twice, but you have to be kind of accurate and make sure you hit it. I almost didn't get it, but I was able to just hit it at that last moment and it have it go into the altar the third and final location is over by the death gauntlet and this probably is the hardest one to hit i made a mistake and i did it at a middle of a round i was just trying to get the, ang the angle perfectly and actually one zombie luckily was able to hit the uh arrow and what you want to do is again just shoot it and i actually did get it i kind of panicked but i did end up getting it and you you'll know you get it because the arrow will actually fall down but once you of course you do that you can jump into the portal and you have a fully upgraded wind gauntlet i don't remember the god's name but uh, you have a fully upgraded wind gauntlet and uh, of course like usual i'm going to show you guys the full gameplay of what it can do and basically you just hold it like this but it launches a ton of zombies back it's absolutely crazy one of the best because it actually protects your body so it's really a really good gauntlet especially for going for high rounds as i mentioned in my uh, death gauntlet video i actually am going for high round attempt right now uh, don't worry i will get a regular playthrough out for you guys it's just the file was corrupted but yeah so this is the fully upgraded wind gauntlet it is super super good i really hope you enjoyed this guide as well i've been working on these guides all day for you guys they're really time consuming a lot of editing a lot of crazy a lot of stuff it's 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 a lot of work but it's really important that i show you guys how to do this so that you guys can use these super super cool and unique gauntlets as well i actually made a playlist for all of the guys for ancient evil so i will leave that down below in the description and at the end of the video so that you guys can check it out i will have all of the gauntlet guides up on my channel by the end of today uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you didn't make sure to like subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys on another black ops 4 video very very soon